What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video and another player review. Today we're going to be checking out Jason Denea, who I believe got a Rule Breakers card, was it last FIFA? And holy shit, he was insane for me. He was like so similar to Van Dyke in the sense with it here. It honestly felt like a smaller version of Van Dyke, a more agile version of Van Dyke. I'm excited to try this card out. He is a centre back, he gets some amazing league on links. We've linked him, linked him in with three icons and my team of year, Marquinhos. But he gets some absolutely phenomenal league on leagues. He is six foot tall, medium high work rates with 86 pace. He's got some okay passing. I mean, 83 short passing, more than enough for a center back. And 86 reactions with 85 composure is nice, but he has got that 74 agility, which is relatively reasonable for a center back. So I think that is quite good. Defensively, he looks fantastic and physical. He looks good. I would save it 81 aggression though for a center back. Personally, I want at least 85 plus aggression. So that's why I have gone for an anchor over a shadow today. A shadow would put him to 96 pace and like 92 for 92 defending. But what an, a shadow doesn't do and what an anchor does is give him that physical boost. With a physical, he goes to 91 pace. Um, when I give a manager on when when I have him on 10 cube anyway, he's currently on nine of a minute. But he'll be on um. Uh, 91 pace, he'll get a plus 5 of the anchor, he'll get that defensive boost to around 91, but the most important thing is he's going to get a plus 10 aggression, so he's going to go to 98 strength, but he's also getting a plus, uh, no sorry, a plus, uh, a plus 10 strength, and he's going to go to 98 strength, but from 81 aggression, he's also getting a plus 5 of the anchor, and he's going to go to 86 aggression, I feel like 86 aggression is a lot more reasonable than 81, and being 6 foot tall with only 81 aggression, I feel like going up against a big striker, like say a prime Terry Henry, I'm thinking of big usable strikers, rule breakers are now to which I know he's a little bit outdated now, but going against a relatively strong striker, like it. you want aggression, you want strength, going into tackles especially, you want aggression as a centre back, that's your job, and the fact he's got 81 is a little bit low, but you can obviously fix that with the anchor, um, and as well as jumping, he goes to 97 jumping in game, now let's get the Bundesliga league on for this manager to get him on full chem, to get all of the chem boost, this card looks absolutely unreal, and as well, something that I, I wanted to add, or, or that I have added, um, into these uh, Road to the Final player reviews is we have actually added a probability on him getting an upgrade. So at the end screen where we have our pros, cons and rating, there's also a win probability or an, a probability of him getting upgraded to the next step. So if you guys want to, uh, you know, check that out, it's, it's a cool little feature I reckon I've added. But without further ado, boys, let's get into the review. Go on, Denea. Doesn't have to get that tackle through. We did, we did have to jockey with him. Feels really good jockeying with. Go on. To like, yeah, the right trigger, left trigger. Dude, my opponent's done me there. He's done me there. We've got to close him down with the uh, Yashin. What a save. But no, from there, obviously, we didn't give a tackle. Oh, it actually goes out for us. That's lovely. But actually, with him, now, he's six foot tall. And that is, like, the perfect height for a center back, in my opinion. Like, it's just the perfect height. He's got 74 agility as well, so he doesn't feel too bad on the ball. If you were to pair him up with someone, you'd definitely want to pair him up with someone like, you know, a massive tanky type of center back, like, say, a, a prime Lauren Blanc or something. Denea and Blanc would be unreal, because you've got Blanc, the taller lad, then you've obviously got uh, Denea, who can actually dribble and, you know, jockey with a ball a little bit easier. Go on, Denea. Let's see that paced out. 91 with an anchor. He feels fast. We gotta try time this tackle, right? Not quite. Denea, there we go, beautiful. Progress of pitch, we'll just boot that down. We absolutely love it, and it goes straight to Neymar as well. Can we now hit on the counter? Ronaldinho down to Paqueta, Paqueta, and it all started from who else but Denea getting that tackle through with a great pull down. Come on! Denea. Hey, we slide it, we tried to slide in there, and it, uh, yeah, it didn't quite go to plan. He missed a slide tackle, just like that. Say, that is not his fault. I wasn't expecting to get in, into that. Um, so when I said he got the slide tackle, he missed a slide tackle. It was more my defense being very wide in the first place. Denea, there we go, what a tackle. That was not his fault at all. That was kind of mine. But he, I did notice he did get pushed off the ball a little bit there from uh, my, my opponent's Komen. That should not be happening. Denea does give an interception through. Um, but no, he, he did actually get pushed off the ball quite easily there, which isn't ideal. He, he, did, he did make up for it, though, with that interception. Denea with the interception, that is amazing. Absolutely phenomenal. His interceptions, his defending, his defensive awareness and positioning is absolutely incredible, man. What a game and what a result for 
the man himself, the man of the hour, Denea. I am heavily, heavily impressed when it comes to this card, lads. Now, recommended chem style, I have gone for a shadow, and although I used Anchor in the review, Either an anchor or a shadow, it's absolutely fine. He is great in both departments. Like, I feel like what the anchor does do, though, is give him that extra plus five aggression. He's got, like, what? Was it 81 aggression as it is? And, like, like without a chem style on him. And, like, look, that's not bad. I just do think that... I, I want a little bit more aggression when it comes to my center back. If you guys don't know, the aggression stat is like how aggressive they go into the, into the tackle. It's kind of like in the name, right? How aggressive they go into the tackle. How You could say it kind of gives a strength boost as well, like how fast, how speedy, how strong you are when you do go into the tackle. And I do think as a center back, aggression is very, very important. He's currently coming in at roughly 180k. Um, so he's obviously, he's not like cheap, cheap by any means. Um... I do think he'll drop a little bit. I do, I do definitely think he'll drop a little bit. I, I think a shadow, it gives him that pace. 96 pace. You don't have to worry about it. 96 pace. Absolutely fantastic. For the pros, we have gone for the pace. And, and I was about to say, I do think the plus 10 pace boost is a little bit unnecessary, though, with him. Because he's already absolutely fine. 91 pace with an anchor is more than enough. Like, more than enough. More than enough. 91 pace for a center back. It, look, to be honest, boys, if you need more than 91 pace for a center back, lads, you guys are like your pace, don't you? Because that is absolutely more than enough. I've also put his defending as a pro. Instead of going into, like, you know, all of his separate defending stats, like his stand tackles a pro, slide tackles a pro, we've just gone for de defending in general. All of all of his defensive stats are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and we has also have gone for his physical. I do want to disregard the uh, aggression from that physical, though, but he's got some solid stamina for his center back. He's got some really good, um, so some good enough strength. 98 strength with an anchor, which, once again, that 90 98 strength is absolutely great. It kind of compensates uh, for the uh, relatively low aggression a little bit. That, that does not come with the anchor chemistry style. As for the upgrade probability, the new thing now I said I've added. Now, I've given him a 55% chance. Leon are yet to make, uh, to play the round of 16 game, because once they finish first, they don't have to play the, the playoffs league. Um, so, I'm not sure. They've not played a game yet. We don't know who they'll be facing yet. If Barcelona go through, they could be facing Barcelona, which we not have to drop his, his pro, pro upgrade probability upgrade uh, rating. But I've given him a 55% because um, I think looking at the teams that they can possibly face, I would say that Leon are better than most of them. Not all of them, but I'd say he's definitely better than most of them. Uh, and as for his cons, I, I did put his aggression as a con. I know it's a bit of a, sh a stretch. It wasn't too much of an issue, but it may be noticeable in the, you know, later games and champs or when you are facing someone that is, you know, relatively good and testing him often. Rating out of 10, I've given him a 9.2. He's relatively pricey at the minute. Um, he's around, as I said, around 180 to 190k, and I could probably see him staying around that price, maybe going to even 140 or 150k. So he's not cheap by any means, but he does get some lovely links down to that. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, but that French future star CDM he gets a strong link to him and he gets a strong link to Rule Breakers Lopez who we have a review on in the channel as well if you want to check him out I would give this card a tick though absolutely great performance from him he's got the here trait his right trigger left trigger jockeying is fantastic and his strength his defense and his pace is phenomenal if you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a sub if you are new and until next time peace out boys